Well, today on Nation Window Cleaners Podcast, we are going to be talking all about Google Maps, why you need them, what can you do, and more importantly, how you can dominate your area. So if you have a small business at all, especially window cleaning, make sure to stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Thank you so very much for hanging out as absolutely always. And I have an awesome guest today to help talk about Google Maps. I know you're interested in Google Maps. I know you want to have them. So why not bring on one of the smartest people that I know about Google Maps and just in general, Mr. Bobby himself. How's it going, man? Oh man, love that introduction! Come on, <laughs> I got to brown nose a little bit, but oh, yeah, whatever, all true, never all true. <laughs> yeah, got me, got me blushing now. Jeez, <laughs> See, now your shirts look, or your face is the color of your shirt. I like it, right? <laughs> nice. Well, if anybody doesn't know you, you are. I mean, you've been on the show now a couple times. I always like to rely on you. I mean, people hear me talk about you guys all the time and what you do with SEO and everything else. But as far as just companies go and just the knowledge that you have you're really are one of the top people that i've ever met in this kind of field and especially in for window cleaners themselves and we between you and i have not really ever talked about the whole google maps thing like the google my business the 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 uh business pages and everything else that they call it now but if anybody doesn't know you tell us who you are where you're from what do you do all that good stuff yeah, so I'm Bobby Williams. We're up here in, uh, actually today, we're in beautiful Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, um, home of our uh, second, well, one of our second offices. We, <laughs> we, uh, we've uh, we've got other offices uh, all over the country, but uh, this is the, the freshest one, the most exciting one that we have, and uh, we are really based in Spokane. Yeah. Before I'm going to cut you off too, you gave me a tour of this office before, which if you didn't know, your guys' building is absolutely epic. The main building, I've done tours and that thing, but yeah. the office you're in now has got like a humidor and like you got uh, oh, yeah. a let's, sitting room and a lounge let's, area. Let's take a walk. It's phenomenal, it, phenomenal. It's quiet out there. As you can see, we just moved in, so all I've got is the uh, bourbon on the on the shelf and <laughs> necessities. Uh, I like it. Yeah, you got to have that if you're going to be in a cigar room. So that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So it's a uh, yeah, it's a it's a cool little space. We got a pool table here. We got our uh, our kind of lounge area for our clients. Don't mind our uh, fireplace. We're having that fixed today. Nice. But uh, my my favorite place is uh, just over here the, through the big door. I don't know if anybody's hanging here right now. No, Justin's not hiding in there. So this is our humidor. Uh, with our uh, our chess board, you know we are competitive, so we got to have all the games to uh, try and beat up each on each other. <laughs> nice, I love it. I love so. it. You got to work hard. You got to play hard. You know. That's right, man. Absolutely. So yeah, it's it's a fun spot. We uh, we're we're enjoying it. We uh, we're still getting settled. You know, kicking the the dust off the walls. But uh, I. Uh, yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> yeah, you said second office, and you have locations in a couple different states. This is in a completely different state now, uh, right over the border, <laughs> yes. obviously, but different state. Yeah, we're yeah we're about forty minutes um, from from our main office. Uh, we do have employees that work over here, so it's it's nice to have a second spot for them to drop in. Yeah. You know, internet business. Most people since COVID are wanting to stay at home anyways, but it's a great place to meet clients and do things like that. So. Nice. Yeah, it's it's awesome. You showed me it. I'm super jealous as I. Sit in my own office. And, yeah. Oh, you showed me yours. Yours is pretty here, too. I'm doing it wrong, man. I'm doing it wrong. No, oh, come on. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we we always joke about kind of everything else, and in the internet world for businesses, there's so many pieces and so many like facets and things that whenever we talk about SEO, which I talk about all the time, I've mentioned it a thousand times, it is the number one thing I think people can do to just like get ROI and just like, as far as paid advertising goes, it is absolutely the best thing to do. But in that, you end up having SEO creating organic, then you have uh, paid ads, but you also have places, which I always talk about reviews. I love reviews. I think that's absolutely an amazing thing to have. Reviews end up kind of coming down to more the maps, more what people would know as maps, but that is kind of the Google My Business stuff. And that's kind of what we're talking about. I think that there's a lot of people out there that don't pay as much attention or don't know that they can do something to kind of make that part really, really stand out. And I think of it as Google Maps, but what is it really called now? 
So Google Business Profile is the new name. Um, and if you talk to me on the phone or in person, you're going to hear me say GMB, Google My Business. That's what it was forever. And I'm still trying to get that out of my head. <laughs> we, we, every time I say Google My Business and it's a new company, they're like, don't you mean Google Business Profile? So, um, so super important part, especially now. It used to be that organic was where everybody went. People are really liking the reviews, and Google's really starting to crack down on the fake businesses. And that was yeah. the hardest part with the maps was the fake businesses, fake addresses, things like that. And that's really getting a lot tougher to manipulate now. Same yeah. thing with the rankings. It used to be the organic rankings came right along with the, with the Google, you know, the, your organic rankings. It, they go hand in hand. It takes a little bit more, more finesse now with those maps. Uh, they're, they're getting tougher and tougher uh, day by day. But it's, yeah. it's good. You know, the, the way that I always tell everybody is to think about Google and think about the best experience for their users. That's all they're going after because if yeah. they give you a bad experience, you're going to go back to Yahoo, you know, where we all started. And, yeah. they, uh, and so they, they try to keep it the best experience. And by getting rid of these fake businesses, these, you know, fly-by-night companies that pop up and disappear on the, on the maps, that's the best experience for their users. So it's, it's always yeah. trying to stay within their guidelines and keep them happy. Yeah, it was too in the wild, wild west days of people going to get the UPS mailbox just so they could get the address and then they just, you know, never check that. Well, they started cracking down that right away. But now, I mean, even if you have a spot that's not really a spot, I mean, they're hitting you for that. And one thing that people really forget is that everything from getting crawled to finding your site to reviews to your page, they could just be taken down. It's a free service. So if somebody, yeah. you know, decides to want to ruin your day, you know, they could come after you and have that brought down. And by the time anything's done, I mean, you could lose hundreds of reviews, your place, uh, posts, uh, the pictures, everything by doing that kind of wrong. But when you do it right and they like you and they can put you at the top, I mean, that is always going to be popping up first and foremost. And Absolutely. on our end, on our end we're, we're, we're a local business, right? As a window cleaner, we're a local business. So what better thing to do than advertise to local people? We don't want somebody in another state to really know who we are. But if you're local and you're close, that's kind of where that Google Maps really plays, plays a part. The relevance has really gotten tied too. It's, it's it's tough because it used to be you could move the maps. If you were if you're good SEO, you could get the maps to expand, kind of expand that area that they were looking at for businesses near someone. That's yeah. really tightened down now. You can't. It's not. That's not the days where you could be 25 miles away in a competitive field like window cleaning and and make that map move to you. It's not doing that anymore. Yeah. It's it's getting a lot harder. Yeah. And why do you want a Google Maps? I mean. I know that it puts it there and you want to be everywhere, but Google Maps specifically, which I know it's called something different now, but I refer to it as Google Maps, like you said. But why is that so important to somebody who's got a business, either new business or an existing business? I mean, what do you see on the SEO side of like why that's so valuable to a business to have? The scrolling, honestly. It's just people don't yeah. scroll down the page. They'll, they'll either grab the first organic map ranking or the first organic um, regular listing. Uh, typically, we skip the ads. All of us don't want to see who's paying to be number one, even yeah. though in the end, everybody's paying to be number one for maps yeah. and organic anywhere you're at. So, yeah. But for the, the typical consumer that's not in, in the marketing realm, that's just going out looking for a window cleaner, they're going to they're gonna go right there and they're going to look at the top, you know, the top results. Mm -hmm. And something that when to, to touch on that you mentioned reviews, so important. I, I've, I've stressed this since day one. Reviews are super important because even if you get number three in the map pack, if you've got a hundred five star reviews and number one has a few four star reviews and only has 18 of them, they're probably going to click on you. They're probably going to go right past number one and go to you on in number three. So. Yeah. And that, that's one of those dominate the, 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 the market in general thing is you want to be first in maps if you can you want to have the most reviews if you can you want to be the first organic listing if you can right all those things together and those are the ones that are getting those i i mentioned something this is a while ago but i was talking about in busy time you're getting you know 30 to 50 calls in a day and i said something and people are going you're you're lying there's no way that that's happening and it's like if you're if you're listed the right way and things are being done right you absolutely can now, obviously that's the market if you got a you're in a city of, you know, 1,200 people, maybe not. But, I mean, those type of numbers are, you know, we, we talk about uh, Chris, who uh, the owner of WCR, had a company, East Coast, and he had three full-time phone people. That's all they did was just answer the phones. Like, 
they made calls or answered calls. They had five total, I think, and three incoming. It's like eventually, especially when people are finding you, that's how they're finding you. Those are the ways they're finding you. Yeah, and that's an, I don't know, you know, I don't know if all the viewers know, but we do have a window cleaning pressure washing business. And in the summer, our phone does ring between 30, 35 times a day. And we have that exact same number, three people on the phones. Sometimes our office manager is answering it as well. It, uh, it's, it's crazy what can happen if you, if you take up all those chunks of what I refer to as real estate. That's all it breaks yeah. down to is yeah. those, each position on Google is a piece of real estate. It's, it's one of those things where like, um, People are looking, if they're looking for a window cleaner, you just have to be found, right? If they're looking and you're the one they find, then you're the one they call. Everybody goes, well, I do really good work and I don't need to advertise. And it's cool if you don't want new company or new business and you only refer on referrals, that's fine for your growth. But you're not getting 30 calls a day organically of new customers just from from referrals. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah absolutely. Going- absolutely. That's I was going to say going to maps and kind of like back to kind of that dominating the maps and, and, and whatever, but tell me, and I'm a dummy, but, but explain. To me. Hey, Justin's spoken in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's going on, man? How are you? How are you? Right <laughs> no, you're all right. <laughs> nice. The man himself. See, there you go. Uh, yeah. I was saying for dominating Google, like the maps itself, like what's a hundred percent necessary. Like say I'm completely new at this. Like break down what they need to see, what they want to see, and what the customer wants to see. What what am I supposed to be putting out there? So uh, the the best thing is literally fresh content, fresh content, and engaging with the clients. Uh, Everybody knows, you know, you read, yeah, respond to reviews, not just the bad ones. You want to respond to the good ones as well. Respond to every review so that Google knows that you're that you're engaging with them. Yeah. Um, fresh content, pictures, not stock photos. Google hates stock photos. Yeah. Uh, they want to see real photos taken at real locations. They look at those those photos. If they're taken from an iPhone or Android, it's going to have the geo data and they're going to see, okay, this is taken in this area. It's relevant to this area. Makes sense that I should show them in this area. Yeah. Um, not only that, but Google also checks how often you log in. So if you're logging in once a month and responding to all those reviews, scheduling all your posts, things like that, that's not good for Google. They want to see you in there logging in constantly and, and, and engaging with your with your clientele. Yeah. Again, to kind of hack the code of that is that Google wants to create. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They care about their customer who's going to Google so that they will always use Google so that they can keep selling ads and make the billions that they do. So Absolutely. they're trying to make the most sense, the most uh, efficient way to do this. And the way to do that is to support relevant content. So when I always talk about B-rolls, like every job that you're on, you should be taking a couple pictures of doing something there. And that way you have so much B-roll that you can just put it out there and new content on your website, new content on the Google Maps or the places or businesses or all that stuff that just shows that you're, you care. Like Absolutely. everybody's seen those, those pictures where it looks like it was taken on a potato because they took it back in, you know, 2008 <laughs> and it was somebody standing by their first truck. They don't even own it anymore. You know, it, it, those things, they don't rank. The, the best place to hide a dead body is on page two of Google because no one goes there. I mean, it, it just all comes back to relevant, really. It does, yeah. And that's and then just and the thing with Google too is they not only do they care about their the experience, but after the fact too. I mean that's they're looking to get you there and then that follow up. The follow up yeah. is is just as important as the front end of it. Creating a beautiful, you know, beautiful website, good profile, things like that, but not engaging with it. That's that's where the problems are gonna lie. Yeah, and if you get a bad review, people are so scared of bad reviews. Like, oh, I got a, I got a a, a one star review because there's some people that just no matter how awesome you are, you're gonna get a bad review. And some yeah. people go, well, I've never gotten a bad review, and it's like, well, you just haven't yet. You will because yeah. I've met people it's who just like you're not gonna be happy about anything. But yeah, it's a but great if it's, opportunity. If it's not a client, it's a customer. It's a it's a competitor in your area. So. Yeah, well, that too. Yeah, <laughs> and it's a great opportunity to really just kind of go. I mean, I how many times have you seen I got a really bad review and somebody's never even used me? Well, that's a competitor just trying to do that. You just respond and go, "Hey, Mrs. Jones, like, thank you so much for the the words. I'm sorry you had such a bad experience, but I couldn't find your name anywhere. I've never seen us do service for you. Your address doesn't pop up, and I really hope that we can do service for you. And like. That piece, because I don't know how other people are, but how I do it is that I go to Amazon and I read the bad reviews. I don't read the good ones. Like, yep, oh, this do. product's awesome. That didn't tell me anything. But if I read a bad one and it says, the directions are hard, I know that, that I don't count that as a bad review. If they're all saying weird things, 
then it doesn't count. If they're saying like, hey, this guy like put a cigarette out on my child and, and kicked my dog, like then I can be like, okay, maybe there's something more to it. They didn't respond. So there may be <laughs> like, you can use that as an opportunity, not just the content side of it. Yeah, absolutely. And you can manipulate the good reviews, but you can't manipulate the bad ones. The bad ones are the, that's, I do the same thing. I go and I look and I say, okay, well, what, what are the problems with this or this company? And how do they react? Because the reaction is what's important. You know, somebody could have a bad experience. I've gone in and read stuff where it's a personal problem. It's not even a problem with the service. So replying to them that would reaction and your script is exactly what I would recommend to my clients when they say, I've got a bad review that's probably a competitor. Just say, I've never, I can't find you in our files. Could you please, you know, give us a call, give us your address, see if we can come fix it offer something and it always works out. And sometimes Google will take those down after a while. It just yeah. anymore, it used to be you can call Google up and say, hey, I got a fake review and they're pretty good about taking them down. Not anymore. They won't they even call you back. No. <laughs> There's a new thing where it says, does this review help you? Thumbs up or thumbs down? And enough yeah. thumbs down means that, hey, this is, this is an irrelevant review and they'll take it down. You know? Yeah, it takes a long time though. It's, uh, if they get to it, that's, that's, that's a big thing. So. That's it. <laughs> And I always ask this question kind of on this, and we already know the answer, but how much credit does Google pay to having an amazing page? So if you're ranking first on Google Maps just for that area, does that also come into play in helping SEO for your website? Does that come into play for across all platforms with them, or is it a one, one and done kind of thing? They do tie hand in hand, and it used to be number one organic was number one in the maps. Now the maps is starting to, it's come kind of branched out on its own. The new updates, it does take more than just the regular organic SEO that everybody's been using for years and years. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot more to it, a lot more, like I say, it's a lot of engagement, getting on there, responding to those, um, but also posting. Posting is a, is a great thing. And a lot of people kind of ignored posting on Google for a long time because it only lasted for, I want to say it was five or seven days. I can't remember what the number yeah. was. Now they're sticking around, but people still in their mind think, oh, I'm going to post to Facebook. Yeah. And Facebook's great and all, but when I'm looking for a service, when I'm going out and I want something now, I'm not going to Facebook and type everything. I'm looking on, I'm mm -hmm. looking on Google. Yep. Yeah. And you, there's so many places that people post content in general. That's, I mean, TikTok. I'm on TikTok, but... As a local company, you're not getting a lot of business from TikTok, right? So, but people that want to, you know, get, well, I can get a million views. Well, I would rather get seven views from people who could be my customer by doing it right on, on the places, you know? Yeah. And that's, if I'm on TikTok, man, I'm scrolling through. And if I hit a business, I just keep on scrolling until I find that reaction <laughs> video that I want to watch. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for dumb videos. I'm not looking for, exactly. for ads. Right, right. Well, somebody's new, right? A lot of people have the page already, but give me a quick rundown. I'm brand new or I don't have a place as I'm listening to this going, man, this is awesome. Tell me how real quick synopsis, how do I start one? Like, give me the quick rundown if I just want to get something out there and start it up. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So the biggest thing uh, to get going is having an address. You got to have an address in or near your service area. You want to make sure that it's someplace that you can receive mail and someplace that you can set up somewhat of an office space. It could just be a table with a computer on it. But the, the home office, especially Google's kind of tried to crack down on. They can't completely because especially with uh, where we're at now, post COVID, everybody's working from home. So yeah. many businesses start out of their garages. Heck, we start ours out of the basement, you know? So it's, uh, it's getting a little bit more difficult in that respect, but make sure that you have the office, have everything. And then when you set up your Google business profile, make sure that you use that information the exact same across every platform, Facebook, yeah. you know, any place that you go out and put directories, anything, make sure that you're putting your name exactly the way that it reads, your phone number, the exact way that it reads and the address, the exact same way it reads. If you like here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, we don't typically spell it out. We usually do CDA. But if we were to, when we use this address for our Google business profile, it will have it spelled out and any citations, directories, anything like that will have it spelled out the exact same. Google yeah. loves things that are synonymous. If it's even a little bit different, it's just another point off of your, uh, your score as you're trying to climb the ranks. Yeah. And if they don't, I mean, again, Google doesn't care about you and I as businesses. They care about us as like people who go to Google search. And if something doesn't match, either the name is different, right? Like you have an LLC on one name, but not on the other one. And they go, well, these two do not match. Now it's con competing information. They just remove both of them because they're like, this is exactly. just, they, it's not working. They just don't like it. Yeah, they don't like it. They, they, and it's, it's funny because they're not, it's not that they're dumb. They're just kind of slow and the algorithm doesn't really 
understand when it says, okay, well, why is there an LLC on this one? It's getting better, but yeah. still it loves to have everything synonymous across all platforms. Oh yeah. And you got to think, I mean, there's millions and millions and millions of businesses that are on these across the United States. They don't have people that search up like window cleaning in my area and they go, well, this one looks fake. And then Google, it's algorithms, it's computers, it's AI, it's all that stuff. So they can only program it so much. So instead of actually making a real human decision, like, oh, this review is fake clearly because they're, they're, I could see it has to register in the AI's program to be able to recognize that. And that's where that like information that's not matching or inactivity or any of that stuff is very easy for them to write that into the code. And it just easily gets dropped down and it's gone. And you, they don't, you can't call them and say, Hey, just so you know, and they go, Oh, hold on a second. And they turn it back on. That's not how it happens. If you ever try to get no. a hold of them, it's like, uh, there's like one guy in a computer, I swear. And it's not just <laughs> It used to be nice up until our phone number got shut off maybe two years ago now, I think. But we had a direct line that we could call for Google Bo's business profile help back when it was still GMB. And yeah. somebody would actually answer the phone. It nice. was the most amazing thing. And then when COVID hit, yeah, they, they it went, nobody picked up the phone for a while and they just disconnected the number. So. Yeah. yeah. And I want to talk about the scary part of this, too, is like we said, you could go through all this work and then get suspended, get kicked off. You could literally go up one day and go... My business is nowhere. It's not on there. It's not like what happens if a suspension does happen? A, how did I get there? You kind of touched on it a little bit, but then B, how do I rectify that if at all possible? So there's there's multiple ways you can get suspended. I mean, and it could just be uh, literally an algorithm glitch. We've had that happen before to ourselves, where it's just it just there's no good reason. We we really re submitted for reinstatement, did nothing to our profile, and it got reinstated. So. That's a possibility. Um, pretty rare, but there's usually a reason. And sometimes it can be a competitor trying to mess with you and get you taken down. Uh, the reinstatement process has gotten harder and harder. Uh, at this point, if you're trying to reinstate, you're going to want to have some sort of utility bill on hand that's at, at address. You're going to want to have some sort of signage, maybe even just your truck parked out front of that specific address. And you can't fudge on that because they've got Google my, my, or Google uh, Street View now where they yeah. can see, okay, this is that exact address. Yeah. And this is when a person does come into play. There. This is a manual review that they do when you when you go for a reinstatement. Yeah. And so you, you want to make sure that you have that. And then you also have to have some sort of desk space. You want to have just, you know, even if it's your, your table at home with, you know, some papers and your, your laptop on it. Something that shows you and that video walking into the door of that place to your office space. That's usually enough for them if, it's, if you're a legitimate business. If you're not, there's a lot more hoops you have to try and jump through, and it's, it's not that simple. Uh, there are services out there that, per, that do provide that service. Uh, there's only one in the country that I would trust personally, and he does a great job, but he will ask all the questions up front, and if you don't make, meet all the criteria, he won't take you on as a client. Yeah. Yeah, and I know you guys are known for doing SEO, but a lot of people don't know when you end up doing an SEO package, like this Google Maps is kind of included, right? I mean, that's usually something that's done, but is that something in the other side, like what if somebody's not doing SEO and somebody is doing SEO, like explain the SEO versus the maps and, and how they're different, but yet... What, what? Absolutely. So yeah, when you get some map traction with our SEO programs, uh, it used to be that again, once we got you number one in SEO, the number was your number one in maps. Now the maps do need a little bit more uh, finesse. So we do yeah. have specific map programs that you don't have to do SEO for. Um, we have our SEO program that you don't have to do maps for. If you do both, you're getting the best of both worlds. Yeah. So that's so that th they are two different characters. They always have been, but it's always been something that we never really never had a separate program for. And as it's gotten harder, we've been pushing harder and harder. More resources are needed to get you there yeah. in the maps. And so we've we've now offered that product as well. You kind of want, again. I know it sounds ridiculous to people because especially when you're just starting off, you're like, I can't. I can't get any traction, much less be everywhere, but you want to be everywhere. Like the goal is to be everywhere you possibly can so that if anybody's looking anywhere that makes sense to find you, they find you and not somebody else. If they're calling you, you book them over the phone, you put them in your skin. They're not calling somebody else. Like that's how you dominate markets. That's how you collect market share because they're not going to somebody else. I mean, that's just part of it. It's just have all facets of it really. 
Absolutely. And that's in, when you, you know, after you've got one website ranking and you've gone through that process, how difficult is it to do another one? You know, you start yeah, doing well, each, each space on Google is another piece of real estate. Imagine if you had an started. office all the way down the busiest street in, in America, you know? Yeah. Yeah. People are so, um, it's like when they do wraps, they, they put a wrap and they go, Hey, here's my wrap. It says, you know, X, Y, Z window washing, soft washing, gutter repair, chimney flashing. And there's this big <laughs> list and it's like, no one ever would call you from service number three and on, like if that, right? And exactly. it's too much information. They don't, so it's like, instead of being that website, you can have pages, obviously, definitely, but why not have, you know, xyzwindowwashing.com and then xyzpressurewashing.com. And you have two listings, two rankings. Obviously you can SEO both of them. I know you do a ton of that with that, but now you got two places, right? What is somebody yeah. searching? The more specific you can be in a search, the more specific you are is the right answer. Like if you say what's two plus two, there's one answer. It is always the answer that's brought up. There's not a plethora of, you know, 50 decisions and six pages of Google listings of what the answer is. Like it is a simple answer, right? It is. Yeah. And that's where a lot of folks will, you know, we find in our two, three year SEO clients, they'll do all the services on their, you know, their mothership, their first project. And then as it starts rolling in, it's like, okay, well, what can we do now? What's our next step? And that's usually my next recommendation is, okay, let's start making, branching out some of these services. Your mothership's never going to change, but you know, here, you know, a good example at one point we were, you know, when we were going crazy building our business, we had the entire first page for dumpster pad cleaning in our area. And it was wow. all different websites. <laughs> we had, to, yeah. we had every website and it, you know, we just had the entire first page. So we get people who call once, call a second time, call a third time. By the third time they said, okay, we've talked to you yeah. twice now. I've been we're just going to go with you. So yeah. yeah. And that's the, that's the thing. It's people who want, especially there's, we're talking new clients, obviously, you know, and all this repeat customers, it's a whole nother ball game, but a new customer doesn't know anything about you than what they've been told. And if I had not had a chance to talk to somebody, all they can do is see what's out there and what people want me to see. That is places. That is Google Maps. That is, okay, how local are they? Are they a franchise? Are they not? Is this the real per A picture of the owner with their dogs or family is like, this is a real person. Now, all of a sudden, I can be connected. To I mean, all of these little pieces are kind of the fastest where people think that it's it's more or less just black and white when it's not, when it's it's trying to connect. The better experience you create for a real person, i.e. The, the person trying to hire you, the better experience you create for Google and the more they like you in general. Absolutely. And I'm sure that some of the viewers out there can can relate to how, how many times have you been looking on Google Maps and seen this new profile pop up and it's ahead of you with no reviews. Yeah. And you're like, why, why is that beating me? It's brand new. They, they, it doesn't even look like a real website. It looks like somebody just grabbed a template and threw something together. And that's what Google's trying to weed out now. Yeah. It, it used to be completely commonplace and it took them a while to, to kind of kick those people to the curb. It's starting to get faster and faster now and they're starting to figure it out. Yeah, and what's really crazy that I think people sometimes miss, the SEO thing we talk all the, I do, I talk all the time on like, you, it's like running, it's like climbing up a sand dune. Like if you keep going, you'll make it to the top, but you have to keep going. As soon as you stop, like these people, especially this time of year, I know I, I get a lot of people who will call me and they'll be like, Hey, uh, like I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, canceling my SEO. It's the same thing with like maps is where if you stop putting the effort into it, like, ah, it's winter. I'm just not going to post picture. I'm not going to do anything. And it's three months later. They don't care the timing or the business or that they just drop you down. And the people who are still doing stuff, they're still climbing up the dune. Absolutely. Remaining relevant. If you're in a foot race, you don't let off the gas when you get in the first. You keep on going. And that's the thing with Google. You, you stop engaging with your clients. You stop putting out fresh content. You start up, stop updating. You're going to fall. There's no question. Yeah. And there's a big difference in business. People, especially with the door knocking thing, I don't know if you've seen this, but there's a lot of this door knocking stuff. It, it drives me bonkers because in my opinion, it just isn't for window cleaning is not a great long-term strategy. It's a, it's a one and done kind of like, let's get some money in the door type thing. But when people say, well, okay, smarty, if I don't do door knocking, how do I get customers? And then you go, okay, well, let's talk about, you know, getting a Google places. Well, maps, we got to build, well, I'm not, nobody's going to call me tomorrow or today from doing like, no, of course not. But that's why some businesses succeed is because they're always actively doing that. Or in your case, they have a company like you that does that, but they're always putting those pieces in there and they're always doing that so that, you know, they say it takes 10 years to become an overnight success. It's that same concept. It's like these guys have worked incredibly hard on every facet 
So that one day it just looks like they're everywhere. It's just it's, it's everything. Yep. I got I got you know all these reviews and this map listing and all these websites and everything ranks well and it looks great and the crawlers can read it and it just makes sense. That doesn't happen overnight. It's not a one and done thing. It's building a business. It's building the long term. Yep, absolutely. You hit the nail on that. I couldn't set it better myself. Yeah. <laughs> one of those big things that I, I really I love about Google but hate about Google is that it is a free service. Like Google stuff. I mean, everybody can pay, right? You could pay to be, you know, sponsored is what they would call it, but like an ad, you know, uh, AdWords or whatever. But everything else is free. You have to do it right. And it takes a lot of effort. So what they do is they say, okay, if you're not going to pay us to put these ads up, you have to create amazing content where we want you to be listed. Right. That's where this activity is. That's where like fresh pictures and all this other stuff is. So you're still paying for Google, but because it's a free service, all these people are so intimidated with it and they go, oh, I put something up there. It just didn't work. It did. You didn't do it right. There's a big difference yeah. between not working and then you just not doing it right. It's And that's no different than how we started out. When we put up our first window cleaning website, we thought, okay, just sat there and watched and waited for the phone to ring. Never yeah. happened. <laughs> and so then somebody mentioned SEO. We tried SEO. It was a bad SEO. We didn't get it move a single spot. And that's when it was Justin said, okay, I'm going to dive into this and figure it out. And that's how this, this whole thing blossoms. Oh, right. so. <laughs> yeah. I had somebody at one of these uh, shows um, and I don't know that they listen. It's not you. If you're listening, it's totally somebody else, but uh, they said, uh, yeah, you know, ads don't work in my, in my area. They, I said, what, what, what ads? They're just ads. I've tried, you know, Facebook and door hangers and I've done EDDM and I've, it just they don't work. My customers, they uh, so let's stop and let's not say okay. Psychologically, they don't work because that's not the truth. Humans are wired a certain way. It's that your ads weren't good, but that's the hard truth. Sometimes people, you know, where they're like, "Well, this thing didn't work for me," because not because it didn't work, because there's other people in your area that are doing amazing with it, but they just have better ads, or they have better listings, or they put in more effort, or they have better pictures, or they have a better experience, and then they're all of a sudden they're ranking better and. It's this whole thing where it's it's not always your customers more or less than what it is what you're doing. And exactly. And the, the other thing that people don't realize as well is that SEO actually brings down the cost of your ads. The, the relevance that you are online keeps your ads cheaper. So, yeah. you know, a lot of people will be, you know, brand new website, and go out and throw up an ad. They're paying way more per click than the, the next guy that, you know, has a huge budget. And he's just sitting back and taking in all those leads because he's yeah. he's got the relevance. So Yeah. If I type in McDonald's near me or something, like I'll uh, another burger chain will pop up, but they're paying a lot more because they're like bidding on the keyword as opposed to Google saying here is McDonald's this closest exactly. to you. So it's like <laughs> yeah. the, the same relevance thing. It's just like you have to do all aspects or do none of it, you know? Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. I love it. Well, I appreciate you kind of hanging out again, as always, showing us your digs and talking mm -hmm. Google Maps. This is this is an interesting one for me because I think it's a, it's a really important for small businesses, especially local businesses, but yet people don't give it as much attention as it really needs. So I appreciate that, but it's, it's one of those things. I appreciate you having me. <laughs> yeah, and I have to say this. I put this out there. I always, this isn't an ad. This isn't, take it with a grain of salt, but if I don't want to do... Google, if I don't want to do my own maps, if I don't want to do my own SEO, I don't have the time, I don't have the, the knowledge, I don't know this stuff. How do I get with you guys to do that for me? Absolutely. So my, and I'm always happy to take a phone call and talk shop. I mean, you know, the, the great thing is we're in the same industry. So we, we've been through this. It's not just the SEO. It's not just the maps. It's not just the web design. We also, you know, we know things about yard signs and, you know, door hangers, any kind of advertising there is to do in this business. We've tried it and we have systems in place that we use in our own business. So nice. you kind of get that with us too, a little bit of, you know, coaching, mentoring. So uh, nice. the best way to get a hold of me is my cell phone, 509-280-6166. Always tag to the hip. And uh, if you can't get me on there, there's always Justin's cell phone, 509 808 0787. <laughs> I had to think about that one for a second. He's got uh, it. I know, I know. I just, I just hit his button on my phone. Yeah. So, uh, man, if not, justinmonkseo.com, of course. So you can always go there and snag the, the phone numbers as well. So. Nice. Well, see, everybody, now you know why I talk about these guys so much. I've known you for years, but you're just nice. You're just a genuinely good guy to talk to about this stuff. So, if you guys have got yeah, questions, definitely it, ask. If you're not doing maps, if you don't have a maps place, you haven't done anything to it, it's literally something you can do right now. Just go and start it and start posting content and just 
yes, you're not going to get a customer calling from it later today, but this time next year, you'll be relevant. And that's the big key in all this. And it's free. So if you're not dominating Google Maps, I don't know what you're doing. Um, But either way, I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. It's shameless plug time. Uh, I didn't do this. You're only getting one shameless plug today. But uh, if you have any orders, I want to put your orders in for you. Uh, Let me know. My number directs 862-312-2026. Please let me do that. That's how I get paid. I would genuinely love it. And it's a virtual high five. Also, if you haven't yet, go and get yourself a subscription to the AWC magazine. It's the American Window Cleaner magazine, awcmag.com. Get a subscription because you need something to read on the toilet and this will do it. So go and do that either way. Start a Google uh, Maps listing. But more importantly, before next week, go out there and be epic.